Hello everybody, this is the Autistic Gamer and welcome back to FIFA 16 Caramo in the next season. Now, before we start off I want to apologise for through, through two things. Um, yesterday I did not upload Rocket League Wednesdays once again. I got to be honest, I'm not going to promise anything anymore for Wednesday. The thing is, it's just not my day. Yesterday, due to circumstances, I wasn't able capable of uploading, wasn't capable of recording, just wasn't going to work. The week before that I just didn't feel good enough to start recording. Now I'm not going to promise anything like I said but next week I am free from school, I do have a vacation so maybe then Rocket League Wednesdays will actually go up on Wednesday but it's just it's just not my day. On the other hand I also want to apologize for my last FIFA video. I got to be honest I thought it was a pretty epic intro and all but then I, I've never had such an anticlimactic video. The title said it all. I don't even know what I was doing, but I thought it was going to be epic. Like, I didn't even realize before I, even, I, made, I made the intro. Like, I made the intro a day before that. I didn't even realize that we were already safe. I wasn't going to get sacked, but I wanted to make it epic. I wanted to win both games with big numbers. But no, I lost the first game 1 0, and I won the second game 1 0, pretty luckily. And then my camera fell, uh, fell out. <laughs> My camera just stopped, right? Didn't have space anymore, it just stopped. So the whole video was kind of fucked up and for an end of the, end of the season video to be that fucked up is just not something I'm proud of. I should have just redone the whole thing but I didn't and I'm sorry for that. But with the new season, I think it's going to be amazing. I really do. And I hope you guys will enjoy it as well. So now, let's start the actual video. Now in the new season, as you might have seen, at the end of the last season, we don't have um, Van Ginkel anymore. We have Ireland there, but I really liked Van Ginkel. There was just something about him that was good, you know? He was a good guy, a good striker, but we don't have him anymore, so I want to get him back. Good striker, by the way, he's a midfielder, but we do have these midfield guys. Now, Jake Braford, this guy has a potential of between 90 and 94. So this, is my, this might be the best player that has ever lived. It's absolutely ridiculous. He's not that fast, but his dribbling and his ball control for a 64 rated fucker is amazing. He has three so skills. I was hoping for four with those kind of stats, but he doesn't. We also have Paulinho, whose dribbling and, 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 and ball control stats are also pretty good. A good striker. I don't know how tall he is. Five foot eight. That's, that's a bit less. We have Hamill, also a very talented young player. 16 years old, five star weak foot. And actually really fast, holy shit, and six foot, so that's nice. And then we have this goalkeeper Van Ooyen at six foot five, with some really decent goalkeeping stats. He is really talented as well, so we have a pretty decent team, to say the least. Now, I do want to buy some new players. I, even though I like my club, first of all, I want to get Van Ginkel back. Second of all, I definitely want a new right back. I'm sorry to everybody who likes Johnson, but... He's just not good enough. I mean, yeah, let's just take a look at him. He isn't 80. He isn't 80 paced, right? He doesn't have 80 pace. He has 77 sprint speed and 79 acceleration. I want that to be in the 80s, especially if you are already older. And he is 31, and he hasn't gone up any points. He's actually gone down. So I do want to get some, somebody new in there. Logically, if he was 80 rated or something, he would have been good enough for the first team. But he's one of the worst guys, together with Ireland. That I have in my first team. So it would be kind of logical to take him out of there. So we're going to look for somebody new there. Here we have Marco van Ginkel. 78 rated overall. But I might actually be able to buy him. I don't know what the, they want from me. But I'm just going to offer them 8 million quid. And hope they say yes. Also I'm going to try to buy Kenny Tater. A very talented right back from the Netherlands. I know he has about 85 potential and I'm, I know what you might be thinking. I know not another Dutch player But the thing is I know a lot about Dutch football. So to me, I don't have to scout them I just know what, who they are logically in the Premier League and in the big te uh, teams I know almost every player and I know who to buy but I just really want this guy. He seems like a really decent guy He really does. He's maybe not that fast But he does have a lot of skill. So I'm actually not only gonna buy him I'm gonna try to trade him with Glenn Johnson. He is worth how much 2.8 and I don't know how much this guy's worth. We're going to offer Glenn Johnson and six million to uh, to get this guy, and I think that would be enough for him. We're also going to be selling some players, by the way. Um, Peter Crouch. I have a new talented striker in there, very young, and I don't need Peter Crouch anymore. I already have him on the transfers, don't I? No, I don't. But I don't want him in there anymore. He can be gone. Athlai. Don't need him anymore. I don't like selling him, but. 
he's going to be gone. And I think Stephen, nah, Stephen Ireland will definitely be in there still. Adam, here we go. Charlie Adam, don't need him anymore. I'm really sorry. Shay Given is already retiring. And Whelan, I don't need him anymore. So all those guys are going to go out of the club. And we have some pre-season friendly tournament invitations. That was a really long sentence. <laughs> oh, these are really shit. These are actual shit. Like, what the fuck is this? This cool. There's like two teams in there. That's three stores. That that one is complete shit. Like that is this is just not good. I'm just gonna do the best one, which is right here. This is the best one. Just gonna sign up for that. Player has left the club. Damn. Oh shit. Well, okay. Whatever. I already expected them to leave the club. It doesn't matter. <laughs> And what do you want me to do in the Euro League? That's actually a good thing. I want to see. Your club will be taking part in the Euro League. The board will be expecting you to re They want me to reach the final of the Euro League. Are you taking the piss? That's ridiculous. They want me to reach the the, 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 the final of the Euro League. Oh. Let me get... No. Wait, what? I don't know anymore. It doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> but fuck it. They want me to reach the final... They want me to win the thing, actually, so let's just try and do that. AX have accepted their offer. That's good. They want, apparently, Glenn Johnson in return for Kenny Tate and 6 million. I could understand why Glenn Johnson is not a bad right back. And uh, I don't want him anymore, so I'm, I'd, I'd be happy to take him off your hands. I expect him to still be 75. Knowing this game, most talented players don't go up until you train them or unless it's five years later. So I think on the end of the season, though, he's going to be around 80 rated. Now, also... Returning from loan, Mocha. I, I don't remember loaning him out, but it doesn't matter. We, we got him back, apparently. I do realize that he is a big talent from what I've heard. Yes, and Chelsea have said yes to uh, Van Ginkel's offer. I, I believe correctly, he will definitely say yes. Especially having played here for a year already. So, crucial first team player for him. He was one of the best guys in my team. I don't think he scored that many goals, like three goals and like three assists. But he was always there when I needed him in very important situations. So I hope he says yes. I really do. We got a chance for Alpha, for Jacob Howgard with the new keeper in at the same rating. He can go on a loan. I might not still want to sell him. I don't know, but I don't think so, my friend. He he might have started off a bit slow, but at the end of the season, he's really started getting him in there. I don't want to get rid of Obama Young. He's too good. And. Kenny Tater says yes to his, to, to his contract offer. That's nice. Very good. So that means we've got rid of Glenn Johnson and got Tater in there. Good enough for me. And we also got the transfer offer for Peter Crouch. If they offer enough, which they haven't done, for 1.5 million, you can have him. He's 35 years old, 75 rated. I honestly don't need him anymore. He scored one goal and that was a, a, a penalty. So I'm sorry for, for, for the legend himself because that's what he is. He's a legend. But he just has to leave the club. Now this match in the... What? What's going on? Oh, apparently some international players. That's a bit more shit. Well then, Van Ooyen, the new guy comes in. And uh, in the back I can have Texera. He's young. Why not, right? What does it matter? Say Given can come in there. It's his last season. It's all good. Arnautovic fit is apparently on an international spell as well. So there we go. Get Braford in there. And there you have it. So now, starting, uh, starting over, <laughs> I'm going to simulate this match. I don't play friendlies that much. Maybe the final, like I said before, but I didn't reach the final last season, so it, it, it doesn't matter if I, if I reach it or not. I'm just not going to play any matches unless I play the final, right? So Texera gets injured, young guy getting injured. I'm not, I'm not too sure I like that, but we did play 2-2 against a good side, so a good result. Nice one. Van Ginkel has accepted his offer. Also a transfer offer for Charlie Adam. He made that beautiful goal against Chelsea, I think it was last season. But they still have to offer like, the actual price for him. But he can go. He's only 30 years old, but he's, he's going to be declining every week almost. So I don't need him in there anymore. He's just going to be a, a, a liability on the wage. He's not going to be good enough for the first team. He's not maybe even going to sit on bad shirt, so he can go. See, Kenny Tater is still 75 rated, like I thought. Isn't that fast actually, but I expected this. On the other hand, look at this. For a 75 rated guy, he has 80 standing tackle, 85 sliding tackle, 78 marking. Those are some really good stats. And he has high potential, so I definitely want him in there. I really do. 
Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't have a lot of central midfielders. Like in general midfielders, I don't have a lot of one, two, no, one. This guy can play midfield, so one, two, three, four, five, six. He's gonna be going. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And we have five midfielders, so I definitely want to get some more players in there. I really do. Martin Odegaard. Almost everybody knows this guy. Apparently, looking at these stats, he hasn't gone up a single point, which is pretty shit. But everybody knows this guy. I think he has five star skills or four star skills. One of the biggest talents in world football. I cannot let this opportunity go. I need new midfielders. Why not start off with this guy, right? So, whoa, 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 whoa. I was going a bit too much there. <laughs> I'm not going to pay 10 million for him just yet. 1 million point nine. No, 1.6. I'm going to offer first. Like this guy, his potential is off the roof. Like it, it's it's ridiculous. It's skyrockets. I think when you when he's about 20 years old, I expect him to be at least 80 or 82 rated, and that means he has to call at least 14 points in three years. That's how good I expect him to be. Motley scouting up there. What the fuck is this bullshit? Why do I have a Motley scouting up there? I only had them for nine months. I I, I uh sure. No, nobody. What the fuck? Can anybody explain to me why I get monthly scouting updates, even though I haven't h hired them again? Okay, this guy, no, he's 17 years old, so no. No, no, and no. Not good enough. We <laughs> no, you're not going to get better, you know. He might not have played that much last season, but it, that was because he was out injured and Butland. Holy shit, no, he's not going to go. Good keeper, talented keeper, never going to leave my club. Another transfer offer for Pete. They want. Why did they want to pay less for Pete? You know what? Fuck it. I don't. I don't care about him. He's not going to play any games this season. I'll just let him go for less then. I don't know why they. They don't want to play. Pay the full price. Fuck it. I, very unhappy morale. I cannot even ask less for him. So he can go. Accept offer. Just go then. They have accepted the transfer of Martin Odegaard. A very, very small number. I have to pay for him. But they want. They, they say yes. I expected them to ask for like five to six million, knowing his potential, but apparently not. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say any sort of role to him because if I say say he's an important team player, that's not even true, and he might read that. Um, if I tell him he's gonna be a squad rotation player, he might say he wants a bigger role. So I'm just gonna offer him nothing and see if he says yes. Also, we're gonna jump straight to this game simulated. I don't want to play it with two new team uh, players in there, Tater and Van Ginkel. Logically, Van Ginkel is not new, but um, He's, he's officially new now. He was on loan last season. Now we've bought him. We lost 2-0. Not that weird seeing as they are a better, better side than us. We also are technically away from home. But I think it's also because we have a 16 rated goalkeeper against a team that's almost only 80s. Two players are sold. Uh, they don't want to pay more for him? Oh, fuck. You go ahead and have him then. Apparently none of them want to pay the full price. I can expect it though. I mean, it's not that weird. Wheeling, you can go. You've, I've, I haven't even played you once. N not even one game. And Bojan, no. He's way too important to my team. He will not go away. Will Odegaard say yes, though? That's a big question. He has said no. Because he does not want to relocate. Well, mate. How about a bit more dosh, then? How about 12,000 12, pounds? How does that sound? Because in, in FIFA, no matter how how much you offer them, they will never say yes unless you offer them twice the amount. If they basically say, I don't want to relocate... Just offer him twice the amount and they will definitely say yes. And if he say, doesn't say yes now, I might just slap myself, acro slap myself across the face because I've just lied to you. Um, I think we're basically already out of this league, so it doesn't matter if we lose or win this. We actually won it and Stones is injured. For fuck's sake, one of my best defenders in terms of overall is injured. Well, great. So how long is he going to be injured for? I don't care about the rest for now. He's going to be out for two months. Th that's pre-season. He's gone out for two months in fucking pre-season. Like, what the fuck is that bullshit? It, it, whatever. Um, Charlie Adam has been sold. And we got 1.4 million for playing that um, league. But we actually have been thrown out of it, so whatever. Odegaard says yes now. Now, by the way, I don't know if it's Odegaard or Odegaard. I'm just going to say Odegaard because I cannot really pronounce his name right. And quite frankly, I, I don't really give a shit. I don't want to thank you, though. I'm not saying I don't give a shit about your language. I'm just saying I don't really give a shit about pronouncing it right. It's not trying to be offensive. I know I'm being offensive, but you know what? I'll just stop right now. I think we have enough midfielders now, don't we? One, two, three, four, five, 
still seven. Yeah, but better ones, better ones. It's good, it's good, it's all good. Enough, enough strikers, enough defenders. We have enough players in general. So Stone's injured now. I, I'm definitely not happy about that. He was a good guy. I still want to see. Does he have five star skills? No, he has four. Hmm. Expecting him to have five. Whatever then, how big is he? Five and nine. Ah, I can deal with that. I want to see though, how old is the youth? Oh, he's only... He's only 28. I thought he was already 30 years old. Well then, apparently, I was completely wrong. He also got a transfer offer from Mame the youth. Ah, I don't, I don't think I can sell him. He's been too good for me last season. I didn't want to play him at the beginning of the season. I thought he was already 32 years old. So that's why I basically gave up on him. And when I put him into the team, I didn't even look at his age. I just thought he scored twice in one game. I want him in there. But apparently he's not even 30 yet. So I was completely wrong. And I'm, I'm, quite, um, I'm quite speechless about that. Because I thought I was right. You'd score monthly report. These guys are not good enough for my team though. Fuck, why do you have him in there? Just fuck off then. <laughs> Just fuck off. Well, here we are, guys, for the actual beginning of the season against Derby. Um, they are a newly promoted side. I don't know. I, I'd say I expect myself to win this game. But in FIFA, newly promoted sides can be a pain in the ass. They really can be. And I don't know about Derby. I don't know much about them. I do know they mostly always, when I play in the Premier League, they always pr get promoted the second season round. So... I expect him to be good enough. <laughs> so, with all the new signings, no, not for no, I'm sorry, mate, but you're not going to play. With all the new signings, with basically the strongest team that I can put in there, um, Stone's injured, which I'm not happy about, but everybody else, strongest that I can put in there. Let's start this game. Well, here we are then in the, the whatever stadium this is, Molten Road. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I know that's not its actual name, <laughs> but we are in the stadium for Der of Derby for Derby County against Stoke City. I kind of derp there. Doesn't matter. Let's just jump straight in. Do they have any players that I really know? Seven Gambo played for uh, a club out of my competition last season. But nobody in there really seems like a really good player. Will use. Very good talent. But for the rest, they don't really have any big players in there. Shakira with a long shot, but nowhere near. Okay, thank you. the Celio, that was really, really nicely done. <laughs> Gotta be honest, for a defender to do that sort of skill, amazing. We are starting very, very aggressively. I like that. That's what I was missing last season. A lot of aggressiveness just wasn't there. Bazoo with the shot, and that's a really shitty shot. Carson with an easy save. But yeah, that's what I was missing last season. A lot of the times, when they had possession, <laughs> when they had possession, we just weren't aggressive enough, and we just let them play. But we needed to press a bit higher, and finally I seem to be doing that this match. Well, that's the first shot for them. Butterfield, nowhere near the goal, nothing to be afraid about. Well, that was really well played. Bullion cuts inside beautifully. Just keeps going inside, keeps going, but gets the ball taken off of him by Bryson. Well done, Malfa Ginkle. Good interception. Sends Aubameyang away. That's not a good pass, though. Not a good pass whatsoever. The way he keeps going, that has to be the 1-0. No, no, well defended. No fucking way. No fucking way. Well done, my Butlin. No, what the fuck is going on? What was going on? I don't even know. That was the first chance they got, but it almost was a goal. What were they doing? Butlin, good save. But then he just fails to grab the ball. And, and then somebody on the line luckily saves it. But they deserve to score there. Holy shit. In the, in the end, they really don't deserve to score. But just that chance, they did. Very unlucky for them. They're, they they aren't in front. Doesn't matter. End of the first half. And it's 0-0. <laughs> I deserve to score three goals. They definitely deserve to score one goal. What's an amazing first half. First game of the season. And I'm really enjoying it. Well done by Bamiyang. The youth comes through. That has to be a goal. First goal of the season, Mame the U, my best striker last uh, last season round, together with Aubameyang. Best two players, and he does score. What a player this is. I don't know why I was stupid enough at the beginning of the last season to keep him out of the first team for Barahino. Barahino was good enough, but this guy is so much better. He's not even 30 years old yet. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. He deserved to be in there from the start, but around the half, half around the season, right around December, he came in. 
and since then he's been a legend. I think he scored 10 goals last season in the half a year and he's already got his first this season around. Well done. Oh, that has to be the tune of the Silio. Scores his first goal for the team. I'm quite sure I hasn't scored last season, but he was my best defender for sure. And now he proves it with the goal. He's gotten up there last season all the time. He just kept running, kept running, kept running. Finally, he gets the goal to prove it. What a player. A great attack once again. A lot of space there for the Silio. Well, well passed by Bojan and a great finish by him. And it's 2-0. I, I don't know. Got no clue what the fuck just happened. <laughs> oh, that is a very lucky goal for them. This seems to happen a lot in FIFA, especially in FIFA 15 this used to happen. But apparently it happens in FIFA 16. These goals almost never happen in real life. But a free kick from almost their own half ends up on top of somebody's head. Isn't defended, isn't marked. And a really good header in the end by Simakambo. But it, that did not deserve to go in. Those free kicks almost never happen, and I think in FIFA they happen a bit too often. Ooh. What, what's going on? The youth? This fucking goalkeeper is on fire! He has had two goals scored against him, and he's still saving them. What the absolute fuck? Doesn't matter. Maybe we score off this, the youth has to score. Mame the youth with the second goal for him and the third goal for us and Derby County Derby County is done for Very deserved. We did they're lucky. They, they didn't go off with like 6-1, six, 6-2 uh, six, six, Because we deserve to score so many goals, but we only scored three because Carson was in beautiful form today But he could not stop this. Charcross well headed back into the feet of the youth and a smashing hit makes it 3-1 I'm actually really happy about this first win of the season Last season around it did happen as well against Liverpool, I remember correctly. Boyan scoring the only goal in the 90th minute, but this time a, 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 I don't know, a smashing win. 3-1, like I said, it deserved to be 6-7-1, it was ridiculous. But it, it wasn't, just look at this. 8 shots, I even think we had more shots. If not, we just had so many attacks, we, we kept going up there. The pressure for them was too much, they gave the ball away so many times. Even though apparently they've had more possession. When I was in their half, they didn't know what the fuck to do. So, I'm very happy with that win. Because this means we hopefully can push on and get a bit more wins before we start going badly. Because that's mostly what happens in the first uh, first half of the season. When you do badly, you, go, you do badly for a long time. And I don't want that to happen. I want to go keep on winning. Well, before the end of the video, I want to do one training session and hope Paulinho goes up. Because that's the only player that can go up with these uh, sort of stats. Let's see. Nobody has gone up because not only did Paulinho get an F, he also got a D. One of the worst freaking trainings I've ever done. Holy shit. Well then, I just wanted to, to try and get my strikers up, but that, that really did not go to plan. Doesn't matter. Beautiful, in my opinion at least. Beautiful first uh, video of the season. This was the sort of video I wanted for the last video, right? I wanted this to be the end of the season, but it wasn't so. Doesn't matter. I want to thank you for watching. Do not forget to leave a like and subscribe. Leave some feedback, whatever you want. And I will see you guys in the next video.